Hello, my name is Brenda Hayward. This video is called Advantages and Disadvantages of a 30-Year Mortgage. Buyers, what are your plans for the future? Do they include children? This timetable talks about your funding. If you plan to put your children through college or save for their future. However, I am saying if you want the ability to assist with their your children's higher education, this is not the route you should take. This video will highlight one, 30 year mortgages have higher interest rates, two, building of equity on your home, three, payoff projections, and four, shorter term loans. A 30 year mortgage has higher interest rates. Buyers, yes, what I'm saying is that because of the length of the loan, mortgage companies will charge a higher interest rate because of the risk factor of the period of time to pay back the loan. While the monthly payments may be lower, the total interest spent over time is higher than a shorter term loans. However, if you wish to save, especially when it comes to paying interest on the loan, a short term loan will fit your needs. Building of equity on your home. Buyers, if you purchase a 30 year loan the equity or the portion of your house that may out you outright own is lower for a longer period of time for example if your property is worth 125,000 and you are owe 100,000 your mortgage will only have less than 25,000 equity built up on the property the building of the home equity allows you as a homeowner to get equity loans in case of emergency for needed repairs or assistance with your children's college tuition. Just remember, a 30-year mortgage equity buildup takes longer than a 15-year mortgage. Payoff projections. Buyers, one of the reasons for purchasing your home is to have it paid off by the time you already retire. However, sometimes because of matters beyond your control, things happen and you need to continue to work past retirement. Because the mortgage payment is due, if you are over the age of 35, think about what may be the best line of defense for paying off your mortgage prior to the retirement age. If you sit down and calculate the interest, you will see that you will pay for the house three times. Shorter term loans. Buyer, do you have a down payment? that you are going to put towards the initial loan? If so, are you able to request a different lift of time? Just ask your loan officers if there are also loan packages that can be put together for 15, 20, and 25 year loan packages. With this in mind, you may want not want to sign up for a 30 year loan. Just a little about me. I'm a person who enjoys food. However, cherry cheesecake is one of my favorite foods. Just to let you know, I am not a real estate agent, accountant, lawyer, or loan officer. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking a thumbs up, subscribing, or leaving comments below. The rest of the video is just to give you bits of information on why a 30-year mortgage is a good way to go as you plan for your future. The rest of the video will highlight five lower monthly payments, 15 year flexibility, the same reoccurring payments, eight higher price home, five lower monthly payments than the 15 year buyers. One of the difference between the 15 year and a 30 year mortgage is the principal payments are lower. This is assuming that you are receiving a fixed rate mortgage loan that offers the lowest payment over a period of time. Six, flexibility. The lower monthly payments give you more flexibility in emergencies arise. As income grows, you may decide to add more money towards the principal of the loan, reducing the length of the loan that is due to be paid off. This will enable you to reduce the 30 year loan to whatever fits your budget loan what is due towards the principal amount owed by adding hundreds towards your monthly payment. Seven, 
the same reoccurring payment, the ability to make the budget and know what is due out for the next 30 years is a relief for any person that wants a home of their own. As your salary increases, you will also be able to start funding other projects, starting with retirement savings for vacations, educational costs, and maintenance of the property you currently live in. Eight, higher price home. Because of the lower price reoccurring payment, the buyers are qualified for a higher price home than they would qualify if it was a 15-year mortgage loan. Sometimes the lower payments enables buyers to get the right size home for the future for the first time, enabling them to grow their family immediately. For these reasons, a 30-year mortgage may fit your needs better than a 15-year mortgage. Sit down and make a decision on what fits your needs. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking a thumbs up, subscribing, or leave a comments below. My name is Brenda Hayward, and thanks for your time.